In the year of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Scaevola had poisoned her husband and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. This is the journal of Lantullus Omilius Nasica. Scholar. Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. I'm sorry, old friend. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. Better to focus on what's coming at you. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. He still just claims we are close to our destination? Indeed. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. The man may genuinely not know our position. I will see if I can help him work it out. If nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quinctus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. There are so few passengers on this galley. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator, too, but I don't know where he went. We left so quickly. My mother and sister. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. Thank you for coming with me, Senoros. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. Let's see if Gimnus knows where we are. You found your sea legs quickly, Domine. You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. We were never formally introduced to Kentorio. I am Tellus Romilius Nasica. You are not my subordinate. Please, call me Kaiser, if it isn't too familiar. Not Aquilinus? My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiser. Can we go over the plan? Our departure was far too hasty to discuss our course of action. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the Consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. What are the duties of a Tribunus? You will have very little responsibility. The Tribunus of Allegio assist the Legatus while they learn how to command a military organization. You will not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. If I'm going to follow the Legion around, I might as well make myself useful. I'm sure the console will find use for you. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of things quickly. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. What is your relationship with Lucullus? For many years, I was the Primus Pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. Will you be returning to your position when we reach Lesbos? That position has already been filled by one of my Kenturionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. I'm honored to have you with me. Happy to be at your service. Have you talked to any of the other passengers? I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, 
He's apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus as well. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. I should talk to the Triarchus as well. I heard he's running from a senator who wants him dead. Shh, keep your voice down. Salway. Salway. I don't believe we have been properly introduced. My name is Tullus Romulius Nessica. It is a pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. Well met. This is all quite new to me. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Where are you from? I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. Why did you join the Legion? That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. How many wars did you fight in? To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. This is my first military assignment. Do you have any advice? <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. Ballet, Gaius. We shall talk later. What is he looking for? He's been like this all morning. Mm hmm? Ballet. Geminus, wasn't it? What? Yes, Geminus. Sour. I'm a little preoccupied. The wind has been rather still today, hasn't it? I've noticed the oars have been out since early in the morning. Is that what's causing our delay? <sighs> You're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. What is it? That ship. They're headed straight towards us. They're going to ram. Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. I'm fine, Kenturio. Warm up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! Cineros, my mentor, brandished his walking stick. It may not sound fearsome. You're deadly oh. with that thing! I've lived other lives before this one. But he could cave a man's head in as easily as a sword might slit one's throat. Kaizo immediately charged down one half of the ship to block the pirate's advance, bracing himself behind his shield. From the safety of the stern, Gaius pulled back his bowstring. I'd never been in a real fight before. I swung, barely missing Kaizo. Once Gaius' arrows had been loosed, we crowded around him while he took aim again. That gladiator who boarded with us. Up there. Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance. Kaizo parried two swings before returning one of his own. Much better than my attempt. The gladiator was in the middle of the enemy, but he didn't seem at all about it. In fact, he was grinning. With the gladiator distracting, Cineros, with his experience, took advantage of the opportunity and dove in immediately after knocking the pirate to the side.
Roman craftsmanship. The man I faced fought his best, but we overwhelmed him. Unfair, perhaps, but we fought to survive, and we did so better than he. As he surrounded the last of the pirates, the gladiator unleashed a series of jabs too quick for my eye to follow. Every man for himself! Gaius, not one to be left out, put aside his bow and showed the results of his close quarters training. Back to Neptune's asshole, barbarians! <sighs> The Triarchus run us straight into the pirate ambush, Prime. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be walking with them. We're sailing to join a war against pirates. It is not so surprising that we should be attacked by pirates on our way. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Geminus, you steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense! By Mars, it is the sea! How can anyone come from Norway? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. Huh. What do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? Why are you asking me? You are the Primus. This kind of decision is your responsibility. I'm just a humble Cantorio. Albeit a particularly well-dressed one. Lucullus has greater plans for you. Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. Why do you want him dead, Gladiator? We are close to our destination. And we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt, Hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. Gaius, if pirates don't attack ships as you say, why would these ones make an exception? We are many of us important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The Kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. What's done is done. There is nothing to gain from executing the Triarchus now. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. Perhaps. But in this case, we certainly can't afford to lose our Triarchus. We still have to reach Lesbos. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Triarchus of our ship in the middle of the sea would have been inconvenient, indeed. Thank you. If you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. Rowers, up the tempo and keep your eyes open. That battle at sea brought back memories flooding forth of my training before my father had ultimately perished. I had learned how to use 
the bow, and the possibility that I may one day command men from Sagittarius's vantage point. Gentlemen, welcome to Lesbos, the Pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply, then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius. All right, people. This is Lucullus' war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The Consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. Does Sturmus seem like he knows what he's doing to you? Him and his whole legion seem like they haven't the faintest clue. The pirates are getting bolder. They attacked another one of our galleys this morning. Geminus tell you too? That's right. This is the second time his galley's been attacked, and yet he still lives. Saw a gripper harassing that old service with the limp again. That small dicked bully. Did you tell the Prefectus? He won't do anything about it. A gripper is connected back home. One day that man is going to fall out of a watchtower to his death. It'll be tragic. Don't joke about that kind of thing. How long are they going to keep us here? It's driving me crazy too. I came here to kick my three to Tizzy's ass, not to sit on the beach day in and day out waiting for something to happen. That other legion. Bit wet behind the ears, aren't they? Everyone starts out that way. True enough. Soon they'll be veterans too. Or they'll be dead. This is not going to work, as long as the rebels keep receiving supplies by sea. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occulta speculatoris. Ave, Lucullus. We have arrived as requested. By Jupiter, you sure have grown up, haven't you? This is the promising young man I was telling you about, Thermos. Quite unassuming, but full of potential, I guess. Prime material for the speculatoris, if he can prove himself. What are the speculatoris? A special cohort assembled for particularly daring undertakings. Soon enough, you shall see the kind of thing they are tasked to carry out. Gladly. The chance to prove myself is what I've come here for. <laughs> there will be ample opportunities for that, my young ward. A trial by fire is what you need. Now pay attention. We've been in a deadlock here on Lesbos for some time now. My co-consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotter, is engaged against King Mithridates of Pontus in the east. Mithridates is using the pirates of Lesbos as his navy. The fortress of Mytilene here is well protected, but it also has a weakness. There's a mountain pass we can utilize. I will lead the assault myself. I volunteer for the vanguard. If my uncle can defeat Pontus, I can surely handle Mytilene. So be it, then. Meanwhile, you will prove yourself as a leader, my young ward. Take Caeso, Quintius Aquilinus, your service, Cineros, and that gladiator who came with you on the ship. You will meet up with Julius Calidus of my legion speculatories. Your mission is to sneak into the harbor and destroy the enemy ships any way you can. 
I expect you have questions. I was given the impression that I was to serve as your tribunus. If you're worried about your future political prospects, have no fear. We will tell everyone you served as my tribunus with great distinction. Why can I not take part in the main assault like Gaius? If you are fast, you may yet play a part in that. But for the assault to succeed, you must do this first. I'd prefer to choose my own people. Prove yourself, and you will be able to name your companions. However, you will want Kalidus on your team. Trust me. All of this is just a secondary operation to Kata's campaign. That doesn't make what we're doing any less important. Mithridates has a dozen warriors for each of our legionari. Defeating Pontus will require patience and caution. Regaining control of the Agaium Mari is a crucial step in cutting off Mithridates' supply lines. No more questions. I'll do what needs to be done. Wait. Are those your father's old weapons? I'm sure they mean a lot to you, but look. The leather is brittle. This won't do. Visit my smith, Sextus, and get yourself properly equipped before you go. Salve, son. Do you need anything? I want to thank you for saving my life. That is unnecessary. I just wish your father could see you like this. He would have been proud. Why did you save me? What do you stand to gain from my survival? Your father was like a brother to me, and as such, you are like my own child. Not everything is a balance sheet. Some matters are just personal. You and my father were close? We served together under Cornelius Sulla in the Social War. He was the most talented spy I've ever known. He taught me a lot about staying ahead of my enemies. I know. You're a natural fit for the occultist speculatories. If you're anything like your father, you'll even enjoy it. The people we're here to fight, are they pirates or rebels? Lesbos has rebelled against Rome. We call them pirates for political reasons, when in reality these people are organized much like a navy. They are allied with Mithridates, Megas of Pontus. He is without a doubt the most dangerous enemy Rome has faced since Hannibal. How can Mithridates pose a threat against the might of Rome? Pontus is a strong nation. They have conquered Colchis, Cappadocia, and Bithynia, and these conquests have made them bold. Mithridates himself is a fascinating figure. They say he has rendered himself immune to poison. This is not the first time Mithridates has fought Rome. My mentor, Cornelius Sulla, defeated him some years ago when he first invaded our province of Asia. Mithridates exploits the ebb and flow of the conflict between the factions of our Senate. He strikes when Rome is divided, like a vulture circling a wounded wolf. I will see you later, Petronae. Solway. You are an interesting man, Gaius. Interesting? <laughs> I shall accept this as a compliment. But prepare to be disappointed. To the extent of my knowledge and ability, I shall try to be as helpful as I can. The first time I've traveled so far from home. Indeed. Staying in Rome became, shall we say, politically disadvantageous to me. That's why I left it. Like you, I've never been to Lesbos before. I did my homework, though in case you have any questions. So what do you know about this island? Lesbos is one of the most important islands on this sea. Some cartographers call it the Horse Island, on account of its shape. Why are the pirates here? Location, I would guess. The island has countless coves and natural harbors for pirate ships to hide in, not to mention the massive fortress in Mutilene. Our army is vastly superior to these Greeks. I don't see why we can't simply wipe them out. Be that as it may, their position here is superior. Mutilene is right next to the sea, and their fleet brings them supplies constantly. It's a stalemate. There's something else I want to ask you about. Of course. Do you think the Triarchus was working with the enemy? Does it matter? For the sake of this discussion, let us say he was a traitor. In the end, we are triumphant and the pirates are dead. The Triarchus, if indeed he worked with them, now knows he picked the wrong side. In a war like this... Allegiances are rarely about ideology. The common person wants nothing more than to be on the winning side, and we have shown Geminus that the winning side is ours. This war camp looks like a town itself. Fascinating, isn't it? The Legion can build a fortified camp like this almost overnight. In my opinion, that is the foundation of Rome's military might. Let us talk later, Gaius. Wait. 
Listen, you seem trustworthy. I may have need for your help on a rather sensitive matter. That depends on what kind of sensitive matter we're talking about. Your caution is well placed, but the sensitivity of the matter is rather personal in nature. I have tried pursuing a solution myself, but to no avail. I understand. Tell me how I can be of assistance. I've been keeping a detailed account of our journey ever since we left port. Shortly after our arrival, however, the journal went missing. I believe it to be stolen by one of the Kenturionis. Are you sure it was stolen? I'm reasonably sure. The journal might be misplaced, but I find this to be improbable since I write regularly. What makes you think it was the Kenturio who stole it? I have seen a particular man walking out of my tent. As a matter of fact, I have already confronted him and he pretty much admitted his guilt. But why would he steal your diary? Pain comes in many forms. Physical. Emotional. And let us say that some men just enjoy inflicting pain in all forms. Why don't you simply walk up to this Kenturio and retrieve your property yourself? That I have already tried. He threatened me in a way. He said if I continue bothering him, he would read the contents of my journal publicly. And the journal includes admissions of certain actions you're not proud of? I can stand by my decisions, and I'm proud of my actions. It's just that I don't want some donkey-headed brute reciting them in public. This is a serious accusation, and if true, a serious crime. We should inform the Primus Pilus. Roman law is valid in Rome, and our perpetrator knows this. This is a personal matter, and therefore it should be solved personally. Very well. Tell me what I can do for you. The Kenturio is called a gripper, I think. He hangs out with his friends near the tent over there. I thought perhaps you could convince him to hand over my journal. Needless to say, I would like to keep the contents of the journal private. I would appreciate if you'd refrain from reading it. Salve, Legionari. If you're here to get your weapons fixed, you must have me confused with Vulcan. They are my father's weapons. Was he buried with them? This leather is fossilizing. Help yourself to any of the gear on the racks. Take all of it if you need it. If I need something special, can I commission you to smith it for me? I have enough work on my hands right now supplying the Consul's Kenturiones. Do you sell materials for smithing? You'll have to bring your own materials if you want any work done. I have nothing to spare. Thank you, Ferrari. I'm sure I'll see you again. Domine. How are you doing, Cinderos? I am hungry and my face is wind burned, but at least both of my feet are planted on solid ground now. Why would Mother send me here of all places? To save your life, of course. She firmly believes the Witelli killed your father. Sending you here was the best course of action. To tell you the truth, I'm glad to be here. This is a fine place to make a name for myself. Most great men of Rome have made names for themselves on campaigns like these, it is true. Such glory can easily be the foundation of a lucrative political career, so long as one returns alive. What do you know about the Consul? Dominus Lucius Licinius Lucullus was a close friend of your father's, and a supporter of your mother's efforts. He is now the closest thing you have to a father. You ought to keep this in mind. Do you need anything? Besides a good wine, a warm bath, and a thorough massage? Uh, not much. <laughs> Thank you. But you should think about yourself, Domine. I'll talk to you later. Salve. You're a Bestia Tabat, right? I am Tullus Romilius Nasica. I am called Bestia Tabat, indeed. You fight well. I noticed it. May I ask you a few questions? You may ask, and I may answer or not. Your name is quite unusual. Is Bestia your family name? Your name is unusual. <laughs> Tabat is the name that was given to me by my father. Bestia is the name I took when I earned my freedom. I chose it because I have fought and defeated many beasts. Where are you from? I was born in Mauritania, but I am a Roman citizen. Have you ever fought in a war before? Until I undertook this voyage, I fought every single day in the arena. But wars? This will be my first. You were a gladiator. You must know much of combat then. Any advice to give? 
I recommend you to not die. Honor matters little. He who stands tall in the end will always be the winner. What can you tell me about the commanders here? They say Lucullus has the greatest military mind in Rome. I only know he is consul and imperator, but I don't understand what that means. How have you lived in Rome without knowing what these titles mean? This is my first time seeing a senator outside of the spectator stands. He is Imperator because he holds the authority to command the legions of Rome. Then, from what I have heard, we are in good hands. It will be an honor to fight for such a man. You did not like Patriarchus, did you? He will fail again and cause the death of someone you care about. And that death will be your doing. Mark my words. <sighs> Perhaps. See you on the field of battle. We're in the middle of something, Tribune. What do you want? I believe you're in possession of someone's property. I'm here to retrieve it. This? Ah, but this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid nephew, who thinks of himself as the greatest commander history has ever seen. He also happens to be my friend, so I suggest you hand it over right now. Why don't you send him back here to beg for it again? Kaiser may not seem like much now, but he is a Tribunus, and he has friends in high places. Today's blue-eyed rookie is tomorrow's Imperator. What's more, he strikes me as a man who forgives easily and remembers those who served him well. Hmm, all right. I guess you rich kids stick together. Take it, and let's not speak of this again. Solway, I see you have successfully retrieved my journal. May I ask how you managed it? He was just being unreasonable. I kept my head cool and made him see reason. What can I say? I'm not surprised. One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? I am curious about the journal's contents, but I respect your wishes. That is the most virtuous thing to do, and I expected nothing less of you. Thank you, my friend. Marching along the coast has its advantages, not the least of which being the discovery of the numerous coves of the Agium Mare. Many of these coves seem to have their own secret beaches, and just like this one, they are well protected and secure. Let's rest here and go for a swim. You feel weightless in the water. It's better than the best bathhouse you've ever visited. As you swim around the small cove, you feel schools of fish massaging your mini bruises and wounds. For a while, you and your Praetorian guards forget all about the ongoing war and simply feel content. We might be at the wrong spot. There's no one here. Lucullus said his agent would be here. Lucullus is clearly mistaken. If there was someone here, I would know. That's a very useful skill. Hey, don't move. Calm down. I am Julius Calidus of the Occulta Speculatores of Legio Prima Italica. I presume you are my reinforcements. Impressive. I didn't see you at all. We were told to rendezvous with you and destroy the pirate navy. The only way I can think of to destroy a navy on foot is to burn it down. Some Greek fire sure would be useful for that, wouldn't you say? Conveniently, there is a whole warehouse full of it right down there. Unfortunately, the moment we move into that warehouse, they will sound the alarm. So, we should be quick. We should make sure nobody escapes. The last thing we need is reinforcements from Matilene. By the time anyone comes from the city, we're long gone. There's a small camp of sentries just down this hill. If we hit them first, they won't show up as reinforcements. But then the ones inside the warehouse will hear the fighting and be ready for us. You have touched the matter with a needle. But the choice is yours, Prima. Kalidas, first let us take lay of the situation.
joke alive! The Romans are here! How did they get so close? That I need any help, but please follow my finger. Yes, you'll be all right.
shall slay many of your foes. No permanent damage. We looked through the usable weapons, but inspecting the armor would have to wait. The 
does this hurt? Good, that means you're fine. anymore. Pirates were close to breaking, but we wanted to lure them in so we could kill their most experienced soldiers. Want to help me here. It's all right. You're going to live. You're all Indians. We're going to die. Hey, whose side are you on? Beating the guards in proved to be far riskier than expected. Back into the fight.
Now the question remains, were we the predators or were we the prey? Permanent damage. I think this is the last of them. You must try harder. We had out as long as we could, and Thank Fortuna, it was barely enough. Oh. Help me, and I shall help you when you are in need. Does this hurt? Good, that means you're fine. Careful with those jars. The liquid inside is highly volatile. It'll make quick work of those ships. What is the next step in your plan? This was the easy part. Now we have to sneak into the harbor and burn the ships. And then we have to sneak back out, one supposes. Not necessarily, but ideally. I would like to retain my life if possible. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we would all like to retain our lives.